we now are on the clock with the New England Patriots. This is a one, Thomas, where I do believe that the New England Patriots are at least going to entertain trades, right? When you're thinking about um, when you're thinking about uh, Minnesota Vikings at eleven, when you're thinking about uh, when you're thinking about the uh, Denver Broncos at twelve, even uh, the New York Giants at six. This is this is a situation where I think that um, they should at least be taking offers. They have to take offers, but in the end, we know where New England is. We know what they need. We know they haven't had anyone since Tom Brady and and beyond, right? Yep. At the quarterback position, and um, yes, the the feeling is let's continue to trade back like they've always done there. But I also believe that Elliot Wolf, this is his first time at the helm, basically making the picks. He comes from the Green Bay Packers. His father was a longtime general manager. They've been around quarterbacks. I just don't see them trading out of this spot. And I don't personally, I would not like to see it. Personally, I'd like to see them hang and I'd like to see them continue to build at that position. Okay. And the pick is in. So they are picking and they have gone with Drake May of North Carolina. So we have no trade so far. Uh, first three picks. Best three quarterbacks are off the board. Drake May, North Carolina. You have some connections with the with the Tar Heels. Yep. Uh, this, you know, again, I have my concerns about their roster, but if they're going to get a quarterback into the building, Thomas, this feels like the right quarterback to get in the building. I think it's the right quarterback. I mean, to me, this is the type of guy that New England needs to step in after a long, you know, a long run with a guy like Tom Brady. I think it's ideal for them. Smart, uh, you know, represents very, very well. Um, and maybe not the same status of athleticism of the first two quarterbacks taken. But again, those guys were rare in my mind. This guy is still, Drake May is still a very good athlete and a big guy who moves around well, like we're talking about, right? You know, like some of the quarterbacks out there that you don't have to be six feet anymore yeah. and move like, like some of these guys, these guys continue to blow me away being as big as they are and move. And I think he's one of those guys. Does he have some learning and growth to do? Yes. Do you make sure you surround him with the right people? Yes. Be interesting to see what they do as far as building around him. When you, when you were evaluating him, what did you think his, his weaknesses were? Like why, for example, why do you think that Washington went with Jaden Daniels instead of May. Like, what do you think that the, 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 the stack breaking was there? Or here, conversely, if the draft order was changed, if New England was picking second and Washington was picking third, do we still get the ordering of Daniels and May? Or do you think that this is kind of a, a Cliff Kingsbury likes Daniels type of thing and May is kind of more that big physical guy who can who can win uh, up in the Northeast? Like, what do you think? Do you think that that these two are close together or do you think that there is a gap? And if there's a gap between May and Daniels, where does that gap originate from? Personally, I think they come to the table with uh, some similarities, of course. Not the same athletic ability, as I just mentioned. I just think on the Drake May thing, I think there's a little more maybe overanalyzing. And, and some of that element, I think, is going to have to settle in, right? Where I think I think watching Jaden, I think there was there felt like there was a little bit more um, – intuitive, like, yeah. let's just go, let's make the play a little bit of overthinking a little bit, maybe on my mind on the Drake may side. Although let me just say, I mean, I love them. I think it's a real, both of those guys are, I think closer than, than we really think. And again, to have three quarterbacks like this with this much talent, no one's walking away going, gosh, we kind of, we kind of ended up with yeah. this guy, which, which brings me to my last question because now the Cardinals, so, so the, the Goodell has announced the pick now, so it is May. Cardinals are on the clock at four. Uh, you asked me this question today uh, when we were hanging out. What's the first pick that's going to get traded? Uh, you said Arizona. I said New England, so I was wrong. 